Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is another Town Hall 10 three star video. We've been seeing uh, kind of an influx of Town Hall 10 three stars lately. Uh, this one, once again, coming at you from Immoral Thieves. Have two more Town Hall 10 three stars to show. If you haven't already, go back and check out the Mass Baby Dragon attack strategy for Town Hall 10 that I uploaded. Um, pretty recently it has some more town hall 10 three stars that are worth taking a look at so check that out if you haven't already real quick i also want to give a shout out to one hive genesis getting back into some potlucks some high level war play um clans rebuilding but we're definitely doing great and we should you know in the coming future be able to get back into some cwl type leagues and stuff for now we're just doing the once a week you know once every other week potlucks and stuff but that's still competitive uh clan wars and that's going to prepare us for some of the, uh, the the even more competitive wars that could come up in the future so we're rebuilding we encourage you guys to apply um, and you would be seeing more content from Genesis I was planning on showing uh, some attacks today but I uh, had all these Town Hall 10 three stars from Immoral Thieves so definitely had to prioritize these uh, these two attacks are both La Loon we're going to talk about why they worked here uh, why the base you know, was a good base to choose for a La Luna attack and all that kind of stuff, the troop deployment, everything that goes with the attack. Um, this base, and I've said it before in the past, at Town Hall 10 right now, uh, your only chance for three stars are going to be on lower level Town Hall 10 bases or bases that have kind of suspect designs. This one's kind of a mid-level, mid to high level Town Hall 10. It's definitely pretty well upgraded, but the difference is it's a pretty much a perfect base for La Luna deployment. You can see all the expos are on ground. The air defenses are fairly exposed. The archer towers can be targeted directly by balloons. There's not a whole lot of threats in the middle of the base here. So even though his kill squad isn't gonna get that much value, um, it's gonna get the uh, queen in the air defense, but not the inferno tower. So not a ton of value for that investment. He is only investing a P.E.K.K.A. in his heroes plus that jump spell. Not a huge investment. He's not getting a whole lot. I'm sure he would have liked to get that inferno tower too. But even though it's not the most successful kill squad, he still gets the job done because the base is pretty good for La Lune. You can see that one wizard in the CC is actually still up. So a bit of an issue there. But despite it, his troops are moving through. Um, they're heading towards that first Inferno. There was a troll Tesla in the corner. So this guy looks like he took my advice, put a troll Tesla in there, and it didn't work out that well. The balloons kind of got caught up, but they took it out pretty quickly. So not a huge deal. Uh, one of those pups finally took out the wizard from the CC. So it doesn't have to worry about that. Great value free spell. This guy put his Inferno right next to the air defense. Typically not a good idea to do if you can avoid it because it allows for a good freeze. He also had a heal for those balloons, which I liked while the Inferno was frozen. Went ahead and he uh, healed those balloons. So good stuff there. Has one haste left over and somehow a ton of Lava Hounds, even though um, he had three air defenses to deal with. He had four Lava Hounds and there just wasn't that much damage coming at them the entire attack. The one right there is going to pop, but the other one doesn't even, which is pretty rare at Town Hall 10 to have that kind of uh, success with the Laloon. This guy actually has a Troll Tesla on the other side of the base too. That might help explain why the Lava Hounds didn't take that much damage. So he's going to have to go over and deal with that. Unfortunately, he um, the, the Lava Hound or the Balloons, sorry, or clumped up on that wizard tower but the splash damage isn't going to be that much of an issue the lava hound fortunately gets back out in front and tanks his uh pups are making their way through the spread on his cleanup troops is pretty nice uh, everything covering pretty much every side of the base here there goes that lava hound splits at the perfect timing to add some more pups one single balloon heading towards that chestlet um not going to be able to take it out because it was pretty low on health but so many lava hounds ugh, so many lava pups i can't think about the troops right now. So many lava pups uh, are able to uh, converge on that last Tesla, take it out, and he gets the job done with time to spare, I think. That's how much time we left on that. Yeah, pretty good timing. So had about 20 seconds, uh, more than that, 25 seconds. Nice attack there to uh, that's vengeance. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Um, I believe it's number, what are we, 13, I think. Is it 13? Now that was the baby dragon attack that I showed already. It might have been 11 actually. Yeah, it was 11 here. Uh, this is Snake Eyes and he's coming at this base also with a Laloon, also has a heal. So 
not a freeze though. So typically you don't see the heels as much at Town Hall 10, but I think people are recognizing when the balloons aren't under the Inferno Tower uh, damage, the heel can be an effective way to get them back up on health, especially with the uh, all that extra damage on a Town Hall 10 base. Now this one, um, the design isn't you know perfect for a Laloon. It's pretty good though. And it also definitely helps that the base is a uh, relatively low level, pretty new Town Hall 10 here. So that makes it easier as well. Uh, goes ahead and drops the golems down, the queen behind, uh, wall breakers into that first layer of the base. The funneling's good. Drops in the bowlers, the king. Uh, the CC troops are coming out. Does he have a poison? Yeah, there's the poison. A little bit late, but better late than never on that poison. Uh, the queen, I think, actually does end up walking on this attack, but the poison should take care of those balloons. Not sure about the baby dragon. I think that does go down eventually, but um, maybe the poison takes it out. Yeah, the poison actually got it taken out. So that worked out pretty nicely there. Uh, the king is in the middle of the base along with those bowlers. So everything went pretty well. The tanking worked out nicely because the golems, both of those golems died before the bowlers did, ensuring the bowlers got the most value they could. It uh, looks like he got two air defenses, the inferno. The queen actually is still up and that'll be important for cleanup because uh, the queen's one of the best cleanup troops in the game. So she's going to just be kind of working her way around the outside of the base. And while that happens, has this air part of the attack going on. Doesn't have a freeze for that Inferno, but I think that was a good decision. There's no air defense near there to get much value for, um, be, like being able to freeze the air defense at the same time. So just goes ahead and fights through. It is only a level one Inferno, so his balloons get through without taking too much damage. He did drop that heal. I think I missed where he dropped the heal, but he dropped it a little ways back uh, to keep those balloons up. That last Lava Hound looks like it'll pop just in time. Um, that Archer Tower should take it out right there. Um, the Lava Pups uh, span out, and they're able to uh, help with cleanup. Unfortunately, he has no balloons to deploy directly on those Archer Towers, but he at least has, you know, four or five balloons in a group. And even though they move slowly, there's enough of them, um, especially with those Town Hall 9 level Archer Towers, that they can get in there, take out the Archer Tower, and then start with cleanup. Doesn't have a ton of Lava Puffs, but has enough. Has the Queen, which is pretty important. Another nice attack in a Swag Wall Breaker. Didn't even need that tr two troop space, so pretty impressive there. Nice attack to Snake Eyes. That's going to do it for this video. Had two more Town Hall 10 attacks. So I hope you guys have liked all the Town Hall 10 attacks you've seen. Um, great job to Immoral Thieves getting the job done in the last CWL war. And um, I should take a look at that last CWL war while we're in this video. Um, just to, uh, if I'm going to talk about it, I might as well show the results. Uh, one star win against Sons of Anarchy. It actually, to me, towards the end of the war, I thought they had it pretty easily, but it came right down to it. Uh, you can see as far as the stars go, they left one on those Town Hall 11s. They should have got that two starred probably, but they got it done with the Town Hall 10 three stars. I believe this war had one Town Hall 10 three star. The one before it was the one that had uh, the three Town Hall 10 three stars. But um, more importantly, they got a few successful dips, I think. Yeah, these two. And then they got the Town Hall 9s taken care of. On the other side, um, Sons of Anarchy actually got all the 11s toed, but they left too many Town Hall 10s, only two starred. So the Town Hall 10 uh, three star, I guess, technically made the difference if we're going to look at it that way. So nice attack to, uh, who was it? Go up real quick. It was, uh, not him. Oh yeah, it was this one down here. No, uh, Helikiss, Helikiss. He was the one that got the uh, the Town Hall 10 three star. So technically you could say he made the difference in the war. It uh, depends how you look at it, but it was a great war. Good job to both clans. Hope you guys liked the video. And uh, for those of you Town Hall 10, start thinking about maybe some three star attacks, how you can attempt some of these bases in your wars. Um, I'll have some more content coming out this week, have some pretty exciting stuff that's only moments away, or not moments away, but very close to coming out uh, to celebrate kind of the holidays and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.